All right, so um, I'm in my mom's car because there's no other place to record this, right? And I just watch this guy come over and drop off what seems to be a Christmas tree and just ditch it in the front of the across the street neighbor's house. And all right, now he's like dragging it into the street, like shrugging his shoulders at the do barking dog, right? Uh, and he's walking away. So I'm pretty sure that's illegal. Um, yeah, so. Uh, and now he's running, okay. <laughs> Can't make this up. Yeah. So, guy, I'm in my mom. I'm in my mom's car because I can't find a good place in the house to record this. Speak clearly. All right. Speaking clearly. Let's try that again. I'm in my mom's car, not the meme. I'm actually in my mom's car, and that's because, um, what's gonna call it? Uh, roommate is in the living room watching football and that's where I recorded my last two videos. Uh should have known that was gonna the idea was gonna die out pretty fast. Um and I can't really find anywhere else in the house to record. So I'm in, in my mom's car because it's actually not a bad idea. Um yeah and then the guy just drives up like across the street and just dumps the tree and just runs. Well, alright. Hi! It's been two minutes. Alright then. Now, I have some Johns. I doubt you know what those are. If you are if you know about Super Smash Brothers, and you're in the scene, like the competitive scene, or just casual scene even, you watch YouTube videos, you should know what I'm talking about when I say a John. A John is basically an excuse. All right, speak clearly again. A John is an excuse for like why you lost. <laughs> like some stereotypical ones are like, my controller is not working. It's too hot in here. My hands are sweaty. You only lost because your character's busted. Those are Johns. Um, so I have some Johns about why my speech is being bad. I've already talked about how my wisdom teeth were pulled. That was two weeks ago. I have to talk about that too, huh? Um, I just got my braces readjusted, like, five hours ago. Kind of hurt, just a little bit. Yeah, so, my speech might be especially bad. I hope that's not the case. Um, I haven't made a video in a week because I was in Texas for that week, and never really found the time. And I was just enjoying myself out there. Might talk about my trip. Might not. Probably not. Maybe. Alright, the main topic. Three and a half minutes in. Yay me. Um, the big three of middle school. The big three crushes of middle school. <laughs> yeah, that's what that is. Um... Yeah, so this is the video I was thinking about. It was like the one I wanted to make so I can use an outro. I decided I was gonna make the video but not use the outro because it's really cheesy and dumb. And I mean, this entire video is gonna be cheesy and dumb, like the whole subject. Because in middle school, and maybe even early high school, heck, maybe even now, uh, I was. Cheesy, cringy, and dramatic. That's what I wrote on my notes, and that's what I'm gonna go with. Cause, I mean, I was. Like, I gave the three girls titles, like, Girl of My World, Girl of My Dreams, Girl of My Life. I literally did that. Like, I, I don't know, I'm really cringy and dramatic and like, in the movies or whatever. That's how I think. I am. Yeah, I'm working on it. I'm trying to not be as cliche and stuff, whatever. 
All right, so like I said, there are three girls I liked because, I don't know, I'm one of those people. <laughs> it's going to be one of those videos. Uh, give this some L again. Girl of my life. Girl of my dreams. Girl of my world. I'm not going to say any names because the whole, if I say names now, it might screw up my future and, like, people might, like, point at me and nap or something. I don't know. Whatever. I'm not gonna say names. Um, yeah, so I guess I'll describe the meaning of the three titles starting with Girl of My Life. This was simply because, like, I liked them for the longest out of the three. Like, three years? Four, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, something like four, three, no, not four, three-ish. Car passed by, hi car. <laughs> yeah, so like three-ish years. Uh, yeah, I guess that's all I'm gonna say about that. Girl My Dreams was because, you can probably guess, they showed up in my dreams the most. <laughs> I, I found, like, the dumbest ways to use the most cringy and dramatic dumb, like, titles and stuff. I was just, man, I was something. Am I still something? Probably, yes. Oof. Uh, the big one, though, was the girl of my world. Um, this is because, like, I see them the most in life. Or, like, I used to see them the most on a day-to-day -day basis. Should I talk about, like, the entire thing? Uh, yeah, sure. Should I? Yeah, yeah. Alright. Um. Oh boy, here we go. So. Should I go all in? Uh, uh, oh, we'll see. Um. Yeah, so the girl in my world is here the most on a day to day basis. And it's funny, because, like, I only had really one class with her. Um. Should I say it fast? <laughs> sure. It was banned. Oh my god. It, this was 8th grade. This was 7th and 8th grade. Whatever. Um. Yeah. She wasn't in my section. Because, uh. <laughs> I'm in percussion. And when I was there. At my middle school. There were no girls in percussion. So. There you go. <laughs> she was not in my section. Um. I kind of liked her in 6th, kind of-ish, but picked up in 7th and definitely in 8th. Um, yeah. And I was like, <laughs> idiot little me, cringy little me, was like, oh man, I forgot to get her to sign my yearbook on the second to last day of school. Welp, I'll just get her to sign it tomorrow, because we're not going to do anything. Right? And then she didn't come to school. And I was like, Distraught and like dead inside, and I came home cry like I came home, lay on my dad bed and cried, and my mom was like <laughs> totally questioning me. I'm sure, um, <laughs> yeah, and then I was like, whatever, I can just wait three months. <laughs> yeah, and then she didn't come back. Um, <laughs> still hasn't come back. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, I moved on. Whatever. Um, yeah, so, okay, for this video, I've thought about this channel for, like, or thought about making this channel for, like, a year and a half, maybe, something like that, maybe just a year, whatever. This was one of the first videos I've thought of making, so I've gone through this in my head so many times now, and I can't believe I don't have the guts I, like, I had during practicing, or, like, just thinking about it for the past year past year I just went all in in my head but right now no I'm holding back should I hold back yes I'm gonna hold back <laughs> yeah um speak clearly oh my god it's in like big red letters at the top of the screen on my computer inside my mom's car still uh the tree is still there the guy is still gone. <laughs> yeah, alright.
Um, yeah. So, okay, I guess I'll, huh, hold on, I'm, there's no time to think, there's no time to think. Okay, I'll go through this simple rundown, or I'll extend the girl my world thing. Um, so yeah, I come to school on the first day in freshman year, right? And I have banned some period, I forget which period, I think it was like third period or something, right? So my first two periods, oh no, I had zero period PE, and she wasn't in my class, so I was like, alright, well, if I have like, what, like seven more periods left, right? Yeah, this is fine. She'll probably be in one of my classes, right? <laughs> First period, nope. Second period, nope. Third period, frickin' banned. I, she, like, I'm pretty sure she loves music, right? Nope, she wasn't there. And at that point, I was like, oh my god, what the hell? <laughs> like, okay, does that count as a bad word? No, no, hell does not count. Alright, haven't demonetized the video yet. Alright, cool. Um, yeah, so, doesn't show up in band, I'm freaking out, fifth period comes, cause fourth is lunch, maybe, I, I forget, I, I think, uh, yeah, I think that's how that was my year, freshman year, my year or freshman year, speak clearly, okay, well do, sir, sixth period comes, six, like, three plus three, okay, <laughs> Sixth period comes, no. Seventh period, seventh period comes. I'm in the front desk. I'm just like, he um, head down, like, this sucks. She isn't in this fast, right? And he's going through the list. And then he says her name. And I'm all like, like, I don't react like it's a big deal. But like, I slowly pull my head up, right? And... <laughs> She wasn't there, right? And, like, in the next couple of days, he also called out her name. She still wasn't there. Eventually, he just stopped. So, there's, I don't know. Maybe they had, like, an uh, error in the gradebook or something. I don't know. Yeah, so I also, like, had to wait out the entire freshman year to be like, Hey, maybe she'll be back. At some point during the freshman year, I asked one of her friends, like, where she went, or what happened to her, and he said, like, she went to some school in Oakland or something, alright, now I'm giving hints to who they are, um, if you're watching the video, or listening to the video, or whatever, and you think you know who I'm talking about, I guess you're free to walk up to me and confirm, and do whatever, you know what, life is dumb, and who cares? Yeah, okay, yeah, sure, whatever. Seriously, though, like, if you know who I'm talking about, you can come confirm it. Just, yeah, whatever. Um, yeah, so... Yeah, so I learned, like, she's going to some high school in Oakland or something, right? So I waited, I was like, alright, if she doesn't come back next year, I'm just gonna give up. She didn't come back next year, and I gave up. That's what happened. Oof. So, there's that. 1346-ish. I'm wearing a windbreaker jacket. I hope it isn't rustling too much. I might have to re-record this, because I don't think my speech is that good. And the whole jacket thing. And... But I really like the intro! I love the intro. I don't know. The at. Speak clearly. Alright, so, it became a thing, like, eventually, I think it started the summer from 8th grade to ninth grade, where, like, the girl in my world changed from, like, something who I desired to, like, a symbol or something in my head. So, it eventually became, like, a quote-unquote driving force, where, like... I wanted to like do it for her. Like I look at my fit. I look okay. Yeah, this is another example of me being cringy and cheesy, right? So I made up this gesture, right? 
I look at my hand, I squeeze it, and I pull it to my heart. And I say, for blank. And blank is her name. Um, so, <laughs> so like, if I'm at, like, attract me, right? And I'm about to run. I kind of just, like, say it in my head. I don't actually do the gesture, right? Because that's too obvious. And, like, <laughs> about to take a test. Say it in my head, right? <laughs> Maybe squeeze my hand under the desk. I don't know. Um, <laughs> so I was, like, a year ago thinking, hey, I can just make the outro for all my videos for world. Because, like, girl, my world, world, for world. But, like, that's too, like, random. If you, like, don't ever watch this video, you'll be like, why the heck is that the outro? You wouldn't understand. And having an outro like that is too focused on one topic, just one random topic that I'm talking about now. Instead of the channel, like, itself, it have something to do with, like, Laser Sloths, <laughs> I don't know, uh, Smash, just talking, philosophy, I don't know, something along the lines of that, instead of just four world. But I wanted to, like, tell you guys that that was my idea for the outro, and I don't like it anymore, or, yeah. So, I'm still thinking, it might just be, like, speak clearly, <laughs> and just be like, just yell it or something, I don't know. I have to think about it. Two cars coming up. One. And the two. Skirt, skirt. <laughs> I'm gonna talk about scootering. <laughs> I got another car coming up. Whatever. Um, <laughs> so, this is just bonus talking. Whoa. Um, so I ride a scooter to school. Not a not an electric one. Just like like razor scooter, you know? Like the kitty one. But like it's not a kitty version of the razor scooter. It like has big wheels and it's bigger. It's in a quote unquote adult scooter. Skirt skirt. Car. Um so yeah, it was kind of embarrassing the first couple of days I wrote it, I wrote it to school, but now I'm just like used to it, and it's gone to the point where I'm all like, <laughs> before, like the thugs or whatever can like be like skirt skirt and like yell at me or like, like tease me or whatever about using a scooter and like riding a scooter to and from school, before they can see that say that I go in my head and just go like skirt skirt. Right in my head. <laughs> and like, I'm hoping one day someone yells it out again. Because I'm pretty sure they yelled it out at me because I was like a freshman maybe. And I was a sophomore. So I looked smaller or whatever. And looked like an underclassman. Speak clearly. Looked like an underclassman. So they took advantage of, so they took advantage of that. I just said speak clearly. Oh my god. They took advantage of that. Um, train of thought. Trains. Uh, so, yeah, they, like, took advantage of that to, like, pick on me or whatever. <laughs> I'm not being bullied. I'm okay. Don't send help or whatever. I'm fine. Um, I'm hoping that someone is brave or dumb enough to yell skirt skirt again. So I can just turn around and, like, just yell it back. It'd be like, skirt skirt! Mother effer! <laughs> like, <laughs> I, I really want to do that. I really, really want to do that. I hope someone yells at me at some point. Yeah. Yeah, I, I really want to do that. So it's gotten to that point. 1908. Woo. Alright, uh... Outros. Again. Alright, for this video, I'll just make it for world. Alright, guys. Have a good night. Day. Brush your teeth. That's good for you. Uh... Go to bed at a good time. Don't procrastinate. That's a good life lesson. Don't procrastinate. Procrastination is dumb. And it's for idiots. Well, I'm still laid back. Alright. Peace for worlds. Yay.